Hi there, Kasama Lee here, your community realtor. Welcome to the final part and part three of the home buying process series. So now you've gone through all of the inspections, things are going well, everybody agrees, the seller and the buyer come to an agreement of whether anything needs to be repaired or is an as-is sale, which means there's nothing that's going to be repaired by the seller. But we're at the home stretch, the final home stretch of this home buying process. You are now so close, your loan is approved, appraisal is done, and you just can't wait. You can't wait to get the keys to the house, right? So here are a couple of things I want to kind of guide you through just as we're closing. You might be a week or two weeks away from uh, the escrow process closing, which means the transaction is going to end, okay? When that is happening, you should be, if you haven't started, you should be packing. I actually put together a moving checklist both for seller and buyer because you know you go through this process and it's nuts right like adrenaline is pumping you're so excited there's so much emotion and everybody's congratulating you and you got to think about all these other things you got to do I, I give this list to uh, my client whether they're buyer or seller so that they can start focusing on what they need to do to be ready to move so wherever you're moving from whether you're staying with family or friends or you're renting there's an exit process right that you have to be ready to transition into your home yeah! right so with that make sure that you start mapping out you know what you're packing what you're getting rid of what i always tell people is this if you know that you have stuff that you have a need in the last six months or a year and you're probably never going to need it for the rest of your entire life if you didn't see it get rid of it don't pack it up move into the new house and then a year later go now i got to get rid of stuff we just got too much stuff right get rid of it take the time to do that have a garage sale post on next door let people know using social media marketplace and let them know you've got stuff that you can either sell or give away now is a good time to do it it saves you time energy and probably money to not have to bring the stuff that you're never going to use right so start packing all this stuff up get rid of stuff perch 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 right so then probably about five to seven days before moving date i typically would provide the information of utility companies that if you're buying that house you should be contacting and start mapping out turning on the lights the water if you're gonna get cable TV internet so on and so forth garbage service get all of those things lined up some of the companies depending on the city you're in some of the companies requires an actual deed to the property showing that you are the new owner for them to turn a specific service on some of them you can do it online it just all depends so you're gonna have to it takes a little bit of looking into so don't be thinking you're gonna get the keys tomorrow you're moving in and you're like oops I haven't turned anything on because it's quite an inconvenience when you move into a house and you don't have water and you don't have lights would you agree you can probably do it for a few days without internet and oh, I don't even know about internet we do so much on the internet these days but you want to have all those things set up and turned on the day that you get the key so you can do the cleaning and whatever else that you need to do right so once you move in guess what well before you move in the exciting part of the whole thing the keys you got the keys to the house congratulations yeah right um usually i take fun pictures with my clients you know with the signs yay home ownership it's a big celebration and if you get to this point congratulations it's one of the best days ever where there's so much joy and I feel so blessed to be able to be part of that process every single time. It does not get old for me. So thanks for watching. You have now graduated from the three 
video series of home buying process. Now you're ready to go buy a home. And if I can be of service to you, if I can help answer any questions, know that I'm here for you. And if you still haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel with all this great real estate content, click subscribe and notification to continue to receive really great contents coming to you. This is Kasama Lee, your community realtor serving Napa and Solano counties. Thank you for watching.